Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the new iPhone 16, and I've got to share my thoughts on it, especially when it comes to its display. Now before I got into tech writing, I was obsessed with displays, smartphones, monitors, TVs, you name it. To me, a display should be flawless. So here's the thing, while the iPhone 16 has some great features, its 60Hz refresh rate is really holding it back for me. Look, 60Hz isn't a deal breaker for everyone. It works fine for computers and PC gaming. But after experiencing higher refresh rates on smartphones, I've been completely spoiled. Going back to 60Hz feels like watching a slideshow. It's like my eyes can't keep up. With smartphones, especially ones you use up close, you want that quick, snappy response when you swipe or tap. A slow display just ruins the whole experience. And while the iPhone 16 and 16 Plus have some amazing upgrades like 8GB of memory and a new camera button, a lot of folks are disappointed by the 60Hz screen at this price point, starting at $799. Some even think Apple's holding back the better display tech to push you towards the Pro models. I'm not saying the 60Hz display is a deal breaker for everyone. Lots of people might not even notice or care. But for those who do, it's a bit frustrating to have such powerful tech constrained by an outdated screen. Honestly, I think 90Hz should be the minimum standard for smartphones these days. Even budget phones from other brands are rocking 90Hz displays now. It feels like Apple could easily have stepped up their game here without breaking the bank. Oh, and let's not forget the regional differences. While some cool features like AI are missing in the Europe and China, the iPhone 16 might feel a bit underwhelming compared to its competition. But hey, I'm holding out hope for the iPhone 17. It sounds like it could be really exciting. So, what do you think? Is the 60Hz display a deal breaker for you, or are you still all in on the iPhone 16? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech reviews.